Hello friends, welcome to SSIS video tutorial. In this video, we'll see how to export data from a SQL Server data source into a flat file. First, let's create an SSIS package. File, New, Project. Here, select the integration services. This is nothing but SSIS. Provide the package name here. I'm giving it as SSIS Lesson 3. Then the file path where you want to create this SSIS package. Once you are done with these details, click on OK. This will create the SSIS package for you. Here my SSIS package is created with the name SSIS Lesson 3. Now let's use the SSIS Import and Export Wizard. Go to Project, SSIS Import and Export Wizard. Click on Next. Now here you can select the data source. We have lot of data sources available here. In our case, this is SQL Server data source because I want to load data from a SQL Server table. So I am selecting it as Microsoft SQL Server. Then provide the server name and database name. My server name is local and the database to which I want to connect is example. So once you are done with providing local server and uh, database details, click on next. In the next tab, you will be able to select the destination. Here. We have various destinations. Out of this, I am selecting the flat file destination. Then provide the path where your flat file is located. So first, I am creating a blank flat file here. So blank flat file with the name output data. This is the file where I want the data to be loaded. So I am giving the path as output data file path. Then here you have an option for selecting whether it is a delimited file or a fixed width file. Then click on uh, this checkbox if you want to display the column names on the first row of the file. Then select the first one if you want to load data from a table or if you want to give a query select the second option. Then in this tab all the tables which are there in the example database will be displayed. Out of these, I will be selecting the student because I want to export data from the student table into flat file. Then select the row delimiter. This is a new line. And then select the column delimiter. That is, uh, in our case, this is a column delimiter is comma. So we will be generating the comma delimited file. Then once you are done with that, click on finish. Our SSIS package is ready. What this SSIS package will do is this will load data from SQL Server table that is student table into a flat file. Before running this SSIS package, let's see the data in the output file. So as you can see here, this is blank. Now let's see the data in the source that is let's see the data in the student table. Select star from student. Here we have 20 records in this student table. So when we run this SSIS package, this data should be loaded into our flat file. So let me run this SSIS package. Click on start debugging. This will run the SSIS package. SSIS package is executed successfully without any errors and as you can see here 20 rows are affected. So let's see the data in the output file now. See our output file is populated with the data from the students table. Also the first row in the output file contains the column names. So this is how we can load data from SQL Server to flat file. Not only from SQL Server, using this SSIS import and export wizard, we can load data from any source to any data destination. Hope this video is helpful for you in learning about SSIS import and export wizard. If you have any comments or any doubts, please leave the comments below this video. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video.